another studio vlog. Um, if you hear jingling in the background, I actually got a new kitten. He is super sweet. His name is Chili, so ignore the sound of the bells. I need to keep him entertained or else he's just all up in this space and it makes working really, really hard. But he's super sweet and I love him so much. Uh, other than that, I did get a few orders from a shop update. It wasn't as big as I thought it would be, which is okay. Um, I think I'll talk about that a little bit later. But I do have some t-shirts that I prepared. They've already been heat pressed. I just need to package them up and send them off, which I'm really excited about because I really love how these shirts turned out. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And it should be pretty short and just a nice, simple work day. awake um, and I just wanted to go outside for a bit just because the view from here is like absolutely amazing look at how much space there is here looks like another world oh my goodness it's so pretty and we have this little area where we can all like eat or if we want to draw outside we can do that as well there's a little hot tub but <laughs> none of us really prepared for the hot tub yeah, it's just so pretty out here.
Hey Jacqueline! Like, like, microphone in a cave. <laughs> the studio was called the cave. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> So I am back from the mini artist retreat I took with my friends in Joshua Tree National Park and overall I have to say that the experience was very emotional. I feel like it was something I desperately needed. I have been working from home for the past two years and I have not had contact with one, my former classmates that at the university I went to, but two, with many people in general and so this was the first time I was able to communicate with one my former friends and two just with people in general so it was really nice to have that collaborative experience with them because a lot of the time the work that I do as a freelancer I'm just by myself I'm not a part of a team 
I'm not really a part of any other creatives. I'm the sole artist on a project with non-artist people on board. So it can get really lonely, honestly. So having this experience was so much fun because I was able to just catch up with everybody. When you're in school, you're able to ask your peers like, hey, what are you working on? Like, what's the main project that you're doing this semester? Is it, you know, some sketches, design work, animating, storyboards? Like, what are you working on? And so I missed that collaborative aspect of what school provided for me. On top of that, I don't know. I just feel like it was it was such a great experience to be surrounded by creatives again because I just find so much value in learning the process of my fellow friends, what they're working on, what they aspire to do. Some of us made it into animation, some of us did not, and we're kind of just navigating this realm after college and it is a little bit scary, honestly, but knowing that you're not going through it alone really helped me because I needed to remind myself of that. So there were some things that uh, we did that I didn't get to film. I didn't really do as much art as I wanted to, even though I told myself that this would be the trip where I get to do personal art because I've been working on the graphic novel for so long. But I think I got more emotional support and comfort from the trip more than doing art, I suppose, even though it's an artist retreat. But let me show you the finished page that I did. So here's the finished page. We have this one that I didn't film at all, and then this one is the one I was working on. Overall, I think they look really nice. It's been a long time since I've drawn traditionally in general. And this is my friend Jacqueline. Uh, you'll see her a little bit in the video. And overall, I just think it was really fun. We also did some film studies that I didn't film because it was too dark, but I'll leave them up here. They were from the movie Crimson Peak, so we would pause it while we were watching the movie and just try our best to do some film studies, as animation artists typically do. It was very challenging, but also very exciting, and I want to do more. So, yeah, final thoughts. I think that as I'm continuing to work from home, and be an artist during the pandemic, I really need to set aside time to link up with fellow creatives, fellow friends, just people that I haven't seen in a long time, and just bounce creative ideas off of each other. There was a moment in the night where all of us were just talking about different comic and story ideas that we had, and I'm not a writer, so I was only really telling them about the graphic novel and other plans that I have, but hearing their ideas brought me so much inspiration because they have some really fleshed out stories and it just yeah it really made me nostalgic for the feeling of being surrounded by creatives so overall that was really really fun and i wanted to show you some quick souvenirs that i got so i got this joshua tree mug i think it's really cute it has a little tree on here and it's very my color scheme and then i also got this cute little notebook when you open it, it has a uh, green inside, so you can see the cactus illustration peeking through, which I think is cool. And then I got this tote bag because I just really like tote bags, so it's constellation themed, and I thought it was really nice. So overall, that was how my trip went. I'm looking forward to planning another one in the future. It is a little expensive having to, you know, chip in money for an Airbnb, but overall I think it's really worth it. And that'll be all for this studio vlog. My heart is very full. I feel a lot more relaxed, a lot more inspired, and I feel a lot closer to these people that I went to school with. So it was overall a very, very positive trip, and I'm looking forward to how I grow as an artist because of it. So that'll be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you all in another week. Bye!